Dubai, with its towering skyscrapers and opulent seven-star hotels, exudes glamour and luxury. Often referred to as the Vegas on steroids, Dubai has become a hot tourist destination, attracting millions of visitors annually. However, the city has not just relied on its present allure, it has a grand master plan. Known as Vision 2040, shaping its future for the next two decades. This ambitious vision raises questions, will Dubai continue to be a magnet for wealth and dazzle? Is there a hidden reality behind the glitz and glam? Is Dubai genuinely as affluent as it appears, and will it maintain the status quo? Indefinitely? To unravel the story, let's delve into Dubai's history. A mere fishing village in the early 1800s, it gained independence from Abu Dhabi in the late 19th century. Following a stormy period and economic struggles, British intervention in the early 1900s set the stage for Dubai's economic transformation. Dubai strategically developed the Middle East's first tax-free port in the 1930s, setting the foundation for its economic resurgence. The port of Jebel Ali, tax-free and import duty-free, catapulted Dubai into global recognition. However, despite this trade boom, Dubai's economy still faced challenges. Due to its tax-free policy, which resulted in limited revenue. Fast forward to the 1980s, a massive economic downturn hit Dubai. After a devastating storm and a global economic crisis known as the Great Depression, this crisis forced Dubai to reevaluate its economic strategy. In 1985, Dubai initiated the model of free port policy, transforming the port of Jebel Ali into a thriving hub for trade and commerce. Despite these efforts, Dubai's economic struggles persisted until the late 1980s, when the discovery of oil in Abu Dhabi changed the region's dynamics. The American oil campaign in Saudi Arabia uncovered substantial oil reserves, leading to a surge in the exploitation of these resources. Meanwhile, Dubai, initially ignored in the oil race, witnessed a turning point in the 1980s. By the mid-1990s, Dubai's fate changed as it discovered significant oil reserves. The subsequent oil exports brought billions of dollars into the economy, marking a pivotal moment in the region's destiny. With this newfound wealth, Dubai's economy flourished, and the city transformed into a global business and tourism hub. With 9% of the world's oil production, it's evident that Dubai cannot solely rely on its resources to survive in the long run. Fortunately, Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan, the ruler of Abu Dhabi, recognized the need for unity among the Emirates to defend against external and internal threats. In 1971, the United Arab Emirates Way was formed, with Abu Dhabi as the capital and Sheikh Zayed as its first president. This marked a turning point for Dubai, and the substantial funding from Abu Dhabi fueled remarkable infrastructure developments. Airports, the Emirates Airline, and iconic buildings like the Burj Khalifa became synonymous with Dubai's meteoric rise. By the late 1990s, Dubai's strategic infrastructure projects catapulted it to global fame, attracting multinational corporations and visitors from around the world. While approximately 1% of Dubai's GDP comes from oil, the Emirate has diversified its economy significantly. In the aftermath of the global financial crisis in 2008, Dubai faced a severe economic downturn, prompting people to leave the city. Abu Dhabi stepped in with a bailout of $10 billion, preventing a potential default by Dubai. Contrary to the common belief that Dubai's economy relies solely on oil, it is essential to clarify that over 90% of the economic activity in the way is driven by Abu Dhabi. Furthermore, Abu Dhabi's revenue primarily comes from oil. Dubai's economic strength lies in its real estate market, which has been a significant source of revenue. However, in recent years, the property market has faced challenges, with prices consistently declining. Dubai once known for its appreciation in real estate value, has experienced a complete reversal in the past eight years. 
Construction projects are visible everywhere, but the oversupply of buildings, apartments, and offices has led to a market imbalance. The build, and they will come, motto has resulted in an oversaturation of the market, causing property prices to decline. One notable example of this oversupply is the ambitious project initiated in the early 2000s. Despite the initial excitement, the market dynamics and oversupply have contributed to a decrease in property prices. The current scenario highlights the importance of balancing supply and demand to sustain a healthy real estate market. The work in 15 began, but today, after eight years, the project has been terminated and the group that initiated it has gone bankrupt. There are empty buildings everywhere that have cost millions of dirhams. However, an interesting development is that after the Russia-Ukraine war in 2025, Dubai received a much-needed boost. Russian and Ukrainian billionaires, whose properties in Europe were frozen, are now investing in Dubai. As a result, Dubai's property market has seen a significant surge in the past few months. Yet, this trend is temporary, as these investors may withdraw their money from Dubai after the war settles. Another crucial point is that the Financial Action Task Force FATF has included Dubai in the grey list for not taking required actions against money laundering. In the coming days, decisions regarding the real estate market may be significantly impacted. The third important factor is the Dubai Expo, which took place in 2021 instead of 2020 due to the pandemic. Despite high expectations, the expo failed to attract the anticipated investments from around the world. According to internal audit documents, the income from the expo was 57% less than targeted. Several reasons contribute to the expo's failure, and a separate video might be made to delve into these details. Moving on to the fourth factor that could decide Dubai's future is its foreign policy. Over the last three or four years, the way has actively aligned its foreign policy with that of Saudi Arabia. On issues concerning Qatar, Iran, and other anti-Saudi entities. This has led to significant repercussions, particularly after the missile attacks on Abu Dhabi's oil fields in January 2025. Iran has already escalated its dealings with the way, aligning with Israel, posing a considerable threat. Dubai, being the city that distinguishes itself globally, heavily relies on the security situation. Large campaigns are being launched to open headquarters in Dubai. But any unfortunate incident could shatter investor and business confidence, impacting Dubai's tourism, a crucial source of revenue. The fifth and final factor is the absence of income taxes in Dubai, making it a massive attraction for foreigners. While this is an advantage, it also poses a challenge for Dubai as it struggles to find alternative sources of income beyond tourism. Rumors circulated months ago about Dubai introducing income taxes in 2025, but nothing has been finalized yet. Considering all these factors, one thing is for sure, Dubai's future is dependent on Abu Dhabi, whether it be the global oil demand or the way's foreign policy decisions. To secure a stable future, Dubai needs to regulate construction to avoid oversupply and keep property prices stable. Additionally, it should focus on developing alternative sources of income beyond tourism. Despite its challenges, Dubai stands as a unique example in the desert, and only time will reveal how long its sparkle will last.